Hello everyone and welcome to the Afterburn Photoshop Action Tutorial. Afterburn is a Photoshop action that will add some very interesting fire effects to your photos. As you see, these are some results on which Afterburn was applied. All these effects on these images were produced using Afterburn. You can see the original layer and the effects. Afterburn is very easy to use. You don't have to have any special Photoshop skills since the action will do most of the work for you. And the action produces a unique result. That is, every time you run the action a unique result will be generated so no result will look the same the fire elements will have different sizes and will be placed on different different positions along the area of your subject now let's see how to use the action There are two parts which you need to know. And these are the two files. You must load both the action file and the brush file. Because the brush file it is used by the action to create the fire elements. So, first let's load the action we're gonna go to the actions panel and load the actions now we have a folder called afterburn which contains a single action before we run the action we must load the brushes so go to the brush instrument and load brushes. Select the brushes and they are now available. So, we are ready to go. You must de now define the area which we want to be our subject in an image. So, let's use a sample image. Um, I'll drag a sample image in Photoshop. It's a JPG file. Okay. So this is our image. It has a locked background. And on top of this background, we'll create a new layer, which we will call Brush notice the capital B and on this blank layer we will paint the area which will represent our subject the area around the action effects so I'm gonna select a soft brush uh, no, maybe a hard, a hard brush. Very small. To so 
fill the fingers firstly so with a white color and the brush I'm gonna fill the fingers on the brush layer oops okay and I'm gonna continue with the entire body it doesn't have to be a precise filling As you can see, it shouldn't take a lot of time. you can use more precision on your res on your uh, images the results will be a bit better So the action will use the brush area as a mask. It will generate all the effects around the area which we have defined to be our subject. We are almost done. The action runs pretty fast. Okay, something like that. And now we are ready to go. So, we only have to click on the play button with the afterburn action selected. Let's do that. The action is working, it's creating some effects, and it is done. So these are our results. It is good to know that the best image size for uh, afterburn is around 2000 to 3000 pixels on the long edge. So an image this size will produce uh, the best result, I would say. A larger image, for example 4000 pixels on the long edge, will produce smaller effects. So, uh, every piece of flame, smoke, fire will be smaller. And if the image is very small, the effects will be very big. So, as you can see, the action produced 
the afterburn folder which contains all the effects even a background so we can disable this folder hide it from view and we can see the original image the brush which we used is also available and we have the folder actually we can run the action another time as many times as we want and you see the result is different this is the first result this is the second result maybe we can hmm, we'll keep the first result and delete the second as you can see inside the afterburn folder there is another folder called e effects and a modified background which plays a bit with lightning to ensure that any kind of background should be appropriate for the fire elements which are very bright we also have a layer which we can use to make the background even more darker so we can emphasize the fire effect and we have the effects folder there are many layers with the effects so every kind of effect is placed on its own layer which you, you can disable by will effect 3 is with uh, the background light which is very important for giving the sparks a bit of light and color we also have a subject layer and on top of the subject layer we, s we have some inside effects which are responsible for the flames which engulf the subject as you can see the subject layer has a mask which is disabled right now we can enable it to add even more burn flames to our subject as you can see we have lots of possibilities we can uh, let's say duplicate layer 3 to make the light even more intense or maybe put a different blending mode on the light and have another result or maybe some other colors that may suit your need So basically this is how the action works and the results. It produces very good quality flames. And uh, 
I hope you enjoy this action and get to have the best results with it. Thank you very much for watching my tutorial and uh, good luck with Afterburn.